Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we'll take a look at the Advanced Find functionality of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. The Advanced Find functionality is used when you want to look up data based on a number of criteria, either as a one-off or to save as a personalised view that can be called upon whenever required. Views are simply groups or subsets of data that you can view from the drop-down, and there are system views or you can create your own personalised views. So let's get started. First you go to the entity you want to do your search on. I'll do an advanced find on leads. I can get to the advanced find screen a couple of ways. Either from the drop down view, create personalised view, or from the advanced find button. It doesn't really matter as it's not until I save my view that it will appear as a personalised view anyway. As I've clicked on advanced find whilst in the my open leads view, the system expects us to edit. So if you see any criteria listed here, then just start by clicking new. Now we enter our query. So let's say we want to find all open leads that are rated as warm. The system knows we're looking for leads as we've started from the leads view and if I want to I can use a save view as a starting point. We'll just leave it as new as per the screen. Now I click select and choose the first field I will search on, in this case rating, and then from the drop down I'll select equals but notice the options that you have. Next I have to select the value. Because rating is a selection field, I am presented with a choice, so I select warm. If the lead field were a text field, then my value select would also be a text field. Now I can repeat the process to add the query of status equals to open. Note that the fields are in alphabetical order, so I can hit S on my keyboard to jump down the list. If we want to, we can now check our results by clicking the results button. Notice the columns displayed, which we'll come back to. Now let's check out the dynamic ribbon and the things we can do. First, you can apply AND OR statements. By default, this query is an AND statement, i.e. leads that are warm AND open. But if I want to change it to leads that are warm or open, I need to group my query lines and change it to group or. Do this by selecting each row and then clicking on group or. The drop down to the left of my lines now gives you the options to change this group to and or ungroup or do various other things. We'll ungroup for this example. You could also clear the query with the clear button if you completely want to start again. Going back to the layout of our results, we can change this by clicking edit columns. The edit column box allows you to add columns for more information, remove columns or change the position in the layout. Let's add email and rating and then check the results again. Now at this point we haven't actually saved anything, so we could just go to one of our results or export the group to Excel. But we want to keep it, so we click save or save as and give our save view a name.
Once done, we click OK and then we can close the Advanced Find box. A quick refresh of the screen and we can now see our save view in the My Views area which will be available to you until you delete it. If at a later date you want to edit this view, you simply go to Advanced Find and click on Save Views. You can select the one you want if you want to delete a view or set it as default and note that you can simply deactivate a view rather than delete it. To edit, click the hyperlink of the one you want. You have to click on details to be able to change the query lines. Remember to click save or save as so you don't lose any edits. Well there we have it for advanced find. It takes a bit of practice to get the query structure correct but my tip is to include the fields you are searching it on in your results layout and then you can sense check if your query is returning the right results. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching this C-Logic video.